can certainly be dirty work at times. Now, it won't have escaped your notice that there isn't just one person in the car, there's two. The drivers may get all the headlines, but he'd be lost without his right-hand man. Quite literally lost too. It's the co-driver who has the maps. But the co-driver isn't just a human sat-nav system. He or she, yes, women do perform this role, despite the urban myth that the female of the species can't read maps, he or she has a great deal of responsibility, which demands supreme organisational skills, as well as reading the pace notes, effectively telling the driver where to drive and how fast. All that responsibility, yet co-drivers can seem to be the forgotten men in rallying. And when I say forgotten, I mean exactly that, as Dennis Shuridae found out. It's a relationship that demands complete mutual trust. At the end of the day, you know, we spend 220 days together uh, of the year, whether it's testing or competing or whatever it is. So uh, it's quite a relationship when you actually stop and think about it. We spend more time together than we do with our partners or our family. It's like managing an office, and that's probably a pretty good description, really. It's sort of like a, a very fast mobile office, and you're just going to manage everything that happens. And one other task the co-driver has to bolster the confidence, improve the mood, and raise the morale of the good man drive. at the wheel. Good drive. Steady now. Listen to me now. Well done, Barry. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, pick him up when he's down and put him down when he gets too excited. I've got a baby, these drivers. Yeah, they're a bit soft. Sometimes the drivers must feel as if their dad has hitched a lift with them. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Turn one right.